Okay, this is the second video about this alternating in the round thing. Now, if you're anything like me, you want to know, but why? Um, some people will just take a new technique and run with it, and they won't think about it anymore. And many people will use this technique simply to blend two variegated yarns with, without thinking about it any any further and then there are those like me that says but what if that and what if this and what if that and and that is the type of stuff that keeps me awake at night i'm so giddy about this that i can hardly speak to you um i feel like stuttering a little bit i've been giggling the whole morning okay so i'm at the end of the round now with the orange yarn and just as before I'm going to bring it forward and I'm going to place it here I've already taken the gray one back pardon me for that um, before I started the video so I'm going to slip my marker and I'm going to start with the gray now I'm still trying oh man I'm at a bad angle I'm still trying to figure out exactly why this works but that isn't what I want to show you now. You know, I, I always think in um, pictures and I, I always use associations to remember things with. And when you bring this yarn forward, it's as if this, this, this yarn says to you, no, 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 no. I'm not done yet. You can't just bury me over there by leaving me at the back. I'm very much still alive, so you're going to put me in front now. And if you would just leave it hanging at the back, it's as if you say to the yarn, okay, you're done now. I'm working with a new one. But by keeping it here, you're saying you're very much alive. Now, I want to show you something. Let me flick my marker to the back. Can you see that this little gray stitch, the last gray stitch we had, is leaning towards the right? It is slightly slanted. And that is because it has now, you've taken that yarn and you've pulled it up and you started these this new round with it so it, you've pulled the yarn up and they that has caused the stitch to slightly fall over and it's slanted slightly but the effect of that is this if i place my finger here can you see that you've got perfect stripes now my tension is off the tension is making it look bad the biggest challenge for me in this technique is to maintain my tension between the last stitch of the round and the first stitch of the round and that is because you're pulling if we go back to this gray stitch you're pulling that stitch up by taking the yarn there so we have to start concentrating on making a very loose first stitch because if this first stitch of the round is too tight it affects the last stitch of the last time you used let's say the gray now if i could sort that tension out look what happens you're gonna have perfect stripes why is that it is because when you place the yarn in the front, remember I said, this yarn said, you're not finished with me yet. You're not going to bury me underneath. I'm very much alive. I'm going to sit here in front. The moment you did that, you started a second spiral. Normally when we knit in the round, we knit in a spiral. And by keeping this yarn alive, you started a second spiral. And you can see it here at the bottom where I started with the orange the first time you can clearly see that the last gray stitch pulled up to that second row that gray stitch there was the last of the pull in row number three okay I did three pull rows and then I changed to the orange so row four was orange 
and row five or round five rather was gray again so round three the last gray pull row is attached to round five the next gray row causing a little bit of a gap here can you see now i will still figure out a way to tighten that up to make it look better or something but somewhere you have to start the second spiral if i pull that orange tight to make that first stitch virtually disappear it looks better now you can clearly see the orange spiral starts there and then it goes around and it comes that way and it goes around and it comes that way the gray spiral continues from this pull round that way and it goes round there it goes goes round there it goes so you're working with two spirals instead of just one this is mind-blowing i am totally taken aback totally surprised my my i i had i have no words this sorts out that entire thing of having little steps when you want to alternate specifically to create rows you don't have to step there is no step there anymore so you don't have to figure out ways and means to eliminate the little step that's usually there when you change from one color or another there's only one step and it happens right here in the beginning and i'm positive if i pull that orange yarn really tight to make that first stitch disappear there you go then you yeah there is an imperfection still but you've got to start the second spiral somewhere and we started there and from there on it's perfect a double spiral if this doesn't blow your mind as a nutter then i don't know what will and this all happened by accident i am thrilled to bits to say the least this is worth practicing to keep my attention you can clearly see the last stitch of the round and the first stitch of the round is tighter than the rest i will work on that that is just practice makes perfect but this is a game changer. It's an absolute game changer when you want to alternate two different colors working in stripes.